<laughs> Why can I not speak English? Hey guys, it's Jay and today I'm here with my Cramathon wrap up for 2017. I read a total of five books for the readathon, so without further ado, let us get started. <sighs> Basically the whole point of this readathon was to read as many short books as you could in order to bring down your TBR before the end of the year. I didn't really follow the challenges very well, so I'm just going to tell you the five books that I read and my thoughts on them. The first book that I completed for Cramathon was Shadow Girl by Liana Liu. The publisher actually sent me this copy in exchange for my honest review, so thank you so much to HarperCollins. I ended up giving it a 2 out of 5 stars though. The book follows Mai, who is hired by a very wealthy family one summer to be the tutor of the youngest daughter, Ella. As the summer progresses, Mai becomes more interested in Ella's older brother, Henry, and she also begins to notice that there are very strange noises in the attic of the house that she is staying at on Arrow Island with the family. Although she doesn't particularly believe in ghosts, she becomes very interested in the house's history and the family who used to live there. I think that the book had a very interesting premise and I thought that I was really going to enjoy it. It's advertised as a paranormal mystery, but I don't think that it should be at all. The whole ghost aspect was a very, very minor subplot of the book. I felt that it was very slow paced. Nothing really happened throughout the whole thing. It was just boring to me. Pretty much the entire book was just the drama around the Morrison family, and it just wasn't what I thought it was going to be. I wasn't invested in any of the characters. I didn't really care what was going to happen to any of them. Mai also really bugged me as a main character. I just found her to be super critical and pessimistic and it just got to the point where I found her to be very annoying. I also felt that there was no real clear path with the plot. It kind of just felt like the author was jumping around from subplot to subplot hoping that something would fall into place and that something would work. But for me, it just, it didn't work. The next book that I have is Stargirl by Jerry Spinelli, and I ended up giving this a 3.5 out of 5 stars. The book follows Stargirl, who is a new student at Micah High School, and she's a 10th grader, and she doesn't really mind standing out. She instantly captures the hearts of her fellow classmates. As the school year progresses, the students begin to turn on Stargirl, and they don't really enjoy her uniqueness anymore. So when Stargirl takes a special interest to Leo, he begins to wish that she wasn't so eccentric. I really loved Stargirl as a main character. I just loved how unique she was and I just wanted to protect her at all costs. I did not like Leo at all. I think that Stargirl deserved somebody who loved her unconditionally for who she was and wasn't trying to change her every chance that he got. I think that the overall message of the book was very well done and I would definitely definitely recommend it for a middle grader or pretty much anybody who's going through the whole issue of high school and being told you need to conform a certain way because like <laughs> You just be you, okay? You just be you. Overall, just like a super cute, fluffy story, and I'm really glad I picked it up. The next book that I picked up was Disconnected by Lisa M. Cronkite, and I did not like this book. I gave it a 1 out of 5 stars. It follows a girl named Millie who is constantly bullied by a girl named Amelia. She tries to avoid Amelia and her nasty comments, but the only thing is is that she can't really escape somebody inside of her head. The whole premise of this book was so interesting to me. I love mental health books, so I was super excited about this, but honestly, it fell so short for me. There was so much slut shaming in it, and just everything was so negative that it just really brought me down while I was reading it. I didn't like the writing style. It was very repetitive. Nothing really exciting happened in the book. I wasn't invested in any of the characters. Everything that happened, I was just kind of like, okay, like this has already happened 12 times in the book. I also did not like the relationship between Blake and Millie. It was literally they hung out one time, then they were making out, but then she was calling everybody else sluts for like hooking up with other people. But she literally just met this boy and she's hooking up with him and then he's telling her that he loves her and I'm like, you guys hung out one time, like 
chill fam chill like it was just it was too much for me I also just didn't think the way that the whole mental illness was presented in this book was well researched personally I've taken a lot of mental health classes in university and just the things that were said in this book weren't accurate to what I was taught in my classes so I just don't know if there was no research done I don't know it just didn't settle well with me so overall I gave it a one out of five stars the next book that I picked up was All Rights Reserved by Gregory Scott Katsosoulis and I ended up giving this a 3.5 out of 5 stars. I actually found it really entertaining. The book takes place in a world where once you turn 15 words are copyrighted and you need to pay for pretty much everything you say and every gesture that you make. So on the day of her 15th birthday, Speth Gimes decides that she's actually just not gonna talk ever again. This causes a huge uproar in the community. The higher ups in the world are outraged. Speth's silence ends up causing a revolution. She has to begin to try to navigate the world where people are trying to punish her for not conforming. The premise of the book was definitely intriguing to me. I was very invested in where the story was going to go. My major problem with the book was Speth. I just didn't like her. Pretty much for half the book, I was just annoyed with all the decisions that she was making and how she didn't really seem to care about anybody but herself. My favorite character was definitely Speth's younger brother, Sam. He was just so precious and I just loved him so much. I also really enjoyed Margot and Henry and Kel as characters. I felt that the ending was very rushed and it definitely brought the whole experience down for me, but I am very excited to see where book two takes the story because I did find it entertaining. Hi, it's like way, way later than it was previously, but my camera died when I was filming and there's only one book left and I really just want to get this over with. So I'm just going to tell you what it is, even though the lighting is terrible. I'm sorry, please forgive me. But the last book that I read for Cramathon is Brother by David Sharanandy. I ended up giving this a 2.5 out of five stars on Goodreads. It follows Michael and Francis who are the sons of a Trinidad immigrant and they live in Scarborough, Ontario. Francis has this dream of working in music for his future career and Michael is more focused on Aisha who is the smartest girl in his high school. After a tragic shooting the police are very wary and apprehensive about the brothers and who they're associating with and it's basically them trying to navigate that world. I can see why a lot of people liked it but personally I just think that it was way too slow in my opinion. I was bored for half of the book. I just didn't see the appeal of it. I did really like how it was set in Canada though because I don't see a lot of books where I actually know where they are and I can like picture where they are in the world because I've been there so it was kind of cool to see that and the things that were mentioned were things that I'm familiar with. I also really liked the family dynamics in the book and it was really obvious how much the brothers truly cared for each other and I really liked how they cared for their mom as well but again overall I just found it boring Boring and it wasn't the book for me, but I can see why a lot of people love it. Alright guys, so that was my Cramathon wrap-up video. I read five books. If you want to see the other five books that I read in the month of December, then check out my wrap-up for that. Let me know down below what you read this month or what you read for Cramathon, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye!